Assalamu alaikum, this is Shadi Abu Yusuf and today we're going to talk about skill number 13 of the TOEFL PBT structure section. Today we're going to talk about using reduced adjective clauses correctly. Now, we started adjective clauses in the um, um, in the previous uh, skills of the TOEFL PBT structure sections. Um, today we're going to talk about how to reduce an adjective clause when writing in English, when speaking in English. Now let's let's see this example here. The man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. The man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. Now let's have a look at the adjective clause. The man is a subject. Fantastic. And is that's the main verb. Fantastic. So, the man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. So, I've got the man as a subject and I've got is as a verb. Now, what about the adjective clause? Who is fixing the car is the adjective clause. Okay? That's it. In the purple color. So, the man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. So, who is fixing the car is an adjective clause. Now, how can I reduce this adjective clause? How can I make it shorter in order to save time while speaking? So, the man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. I can do this simply. I can take the connector and verb to be away. So, the sentence in this case will become as follows. The man fixing the car is my neighbor. That's completely correct. The man fixing the car is my neighbor. Fantastic. Now, another sentence and another example. The book which was published last night was great great the book which was published last night was great now I need to reduce also this sentence here how can I do that now the subject is the book fantastic and was is the verb now let's have a look here at the adjective clause the adjective clause will be which was published last night that's the adjective clause let's give it that color now look at this the book which was published last night was great now we need here to reduce this adjective clause well i am going to take the connector and verb to be away and the sentence will be completely correct look at this the book published Last night was great. Fantastic. Now let's have another example here. Look at this one. Let's say um, mm, mm, the blender that is on the shelf doesn't work. The blender that is on the shelf doesn't work. Well, the subject is the blender. Great. And the verb is doesn't work. Well, that's great. And the adjective clause is that is on the shelf. Fantastic. So we need to reduce this adjective clause here. So we're going to say we're going to take the connector and verb to be away so it becomes the blender on the shelf doesn't work fantastic so this is what we call in english this is what we call reduction now that's great now uh, we need to think about these three sentences that we see here the man fixing the car is my neighbor the book published last night was great the blender on the shelf doesn't work these sentences contained verb to be and then 
we omitted verb to be along with the connector. So the man fixing the car is my neighbor. The original one was the man who is fixing the car is my neighbor. So we took who and is away. Now the second one. The book published last night was great. The original one was the book which was published last night was great. Then we took the connector which and was away. Now the blender on the shelf doesn't work. The original one was the blender that was on the shelf doesn't work or the blender that is on the shelf doesn't work which means that every sentence contained verb to be but now here comes the question if we don't have verb to be how can we reduce the adjective clause now let me give you an example look at this one let's say that the man who lives here is my brother the man who lives here is my brother the man who lives here is my brother now where is the adjective clause now let's talk about the main subject first which is the man fantastic and is that's the main verb great now the adjective clause is who lives here let's give it red color okay now so the man who lives here is my brother when we look at the adjective clause who lives here we don't find verb to be now that's a problem we don't have verb to be now how can we reduce it easy the first step is to take the connector away that's it and the second step is that we are going to turn this verb into a present participle verb plus ing now look at this so it becomes the man living here is my brother this is how we reduce a sentence that doesn't or, or an adjective clause that doesn't contain verb to be another example let's say something that mm, the robot that cleans the house looks mm, old the robot that cleans the house looks old now I've got the robot that's the subject fantastic and we've got looks that's the verb and the adjective clause is that cleans the house okay well that's great now how can we re reduce the adjective clause here that cleans the house well very easy we take the connector away fantastic and then when it comes to clean we make it cleaning a present participle so the robot cleaning the house looks old now this is what we call reduction now let's say something in some cases it is impossible to apply reduction you cannot reduce in some cases now let me give you an example look at this one the woman who works here is my friend now that's great the woman who works here is my friend and look at this sentence the woman I work with or the woman who I work with is my friend and we can say also whom let's make this one that no problem no difference and let's make this one that too okay now the woman that works here is my friend and the woman that I work with is my friend what is the difference here now I want you to look at the connector in the ad in, 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 in both adjective clause now this is the first adjective clause here okay fantastic that works here and this is the adjective clause in the second one that I work with when we look at these two adjective clauses 
we find that every adjective clause contain a connector. But look, this is the connector here in the first one, that, and this is the connector in the second one. But in the first one, we don't have a subject after the connector. We've got that, and after that we have a verb, which is works, but we don't have a subject between them. But in the second one, we have that, which is a connector, and then we have I, which is a subject, and then we have work, which is a verb. In the first case, reduction is possible. The first one, we say that reduction is possible. But in the second one, we say that reduction is impossible. So in the first one, reduction is possible because we can say the woman, I can take that away and then works will become verb plus I in G. So it becomes the woman working here is my friend. But in the second one, the woman that I work with is my friend. You cannot use reduction here. Why? Because there is a subject after the connector. Okay, so in this case, it is impossible to apply reduction.